What's up, y'all? Bill Kamak, starting off my 2012 season of New in November. We're doing a video every day in November, so tune in. You might learn something. Viewer Adam wanted to know how I set the loudness of my tracks, being that you can turn your speakers up and down, it'll sound different. So basically what you want to do is you want to watch these numbers here on your meters. What we're looking at is we have drums here, we have a synth here, both of these are going to stereo out. Stereo out is my output, and the output meter value determines how loud your track is. Basically you want to get close to zero without going over zero. So you see there it says negative 11. If it goes over zero it'll change color. So that's what you do not want it to look like. So in order to get close to zero without going over zero, you want to use your limiter. Which is right here, but it's grayed out because it's bypassed. So what you do with this is you set the output level that you want. It's going to lock this number below zero. And then you're going to use your gain lever to determine how loud your signal's coming into your limiter. So you see it didn't go red this time. It's stuck at 3. I set this to 5. It let a little bit through, but it's predictable. So if you wanted 5, you would just go minus 7, and then it'll stick it at 5. So once you set your output level, you basically don't need this right now. You can do your mix. say that's the way you wanted it. You'll see though it's peaking at negative 7.7. .7. So since you want it up at your minus, actually I want minus 0.3, I'll go back to 5. So since you want it at your minus 0.3, you're going to bring your limiter back in, you're going to use your gain, or you could actually select both of these and lift them, but I'm going to use the gain lever to get about 2 decibels of gain reduction from the limiter. There you go, predictably it's at minus 0 0.3, close to zero but not going over. You also want to look at this on your level meter. So what we're looking at is the light blue is your RMS values, the dark blue is your peak values, and your limit is up here, around zero. So if we just look at the peak, that's what's actually being limited. We can also just look at RMS. If you look at both, you can see the difference between the two of them. That's your dynamic range. So what happens is a lot of people like to try to make their records loud by pushing too far into the limiter which squashes your dynamic range and usually doesn't sound good. Here's what that sounds like. You see how far up the RMS came. It's around here instead of back here. So we're going to back that off so you have your peaks as loud as they're going to be but you still have enough range so it sounds decent. And that's it. That's how you get your sound as loud as you need it to be regardless of how loud you're listening to it when you're actually making your mix. 
Bill Kamak, new in November 2012. Catch you next time. Peace.